Microsoft's web platform installer provides a simple way to get started building ASP.NET web applications and makes it really easy to download the necessary tools that you need to help your productivity. So in this section we're going to talk about the web platform installer and then we're going to get Visual Studio 2010 Web Express installed. The web platform installer can be downloaded by simply going to your favorite search engine and typing Microsoft Web Platform Installer in the search prompt and once you find that you'll go to this page here. Now to download it you can simply hit the green download it now button and it's only about two megabytes so it's very fast only takes a matter of seconds to get this installed and up and running. The benefits of this tool are that now you don't have to go out to Microsoft.com or www.asp.net or even other properties to download the tools that you need to get going. Plus, this tool automatically links in dependencies. So, for instance, to use Visual Studio 2010, you need the .NET Framework 4.0. Well, normally you'd have to get the .NET Framework installed and do all that type of stuff. Well, with the Web Platform Installer, all the dependencies that you would need to get going quickly and easily are taken care of for you. The other thing it does is if you have any open source projects that are out there that you wanted to link in, for instance, there might be a content management system that you'd like to use that's based on ASP.NET Web Forms. Well, the Web Platform Installer makes it a piece of cake to find all of the popular open source projects that are out there and get those installed and running. So let me go ahead and pull up a search engine and we'll go ahead and search for the Web Platform Installer and get it going. I'm now at Bing.com and we're going to go ahead and search for the Web Platform Installer and download that. So I've already done the search to save a little typing, but this is what you'd search for. Microsoft Web Platform Installer. You can see it shows right at the top of the search results, so we'll go ahead and click on that and now we're back to the screen that I showed just a little bit earlier. Now from here all we have to do is click on download it now, but before doing that let me show you what's available. So if we go to the Windows Web Application Gallery this is some of the more popular web applications that are featured. So .NET Nuke, we can scroll down, there's Joomla, and several others. We can also come over and get the latest editions that are available to download. Uh, so you can see several in here. Get the highest rated applications, and all this makes it very, very easy to go to one place. Well, we could do it from here, but the Web Platform Installer makes it even easier. So let me go ahead and go back, and we're going to go ahead and download and install it. All right, so this will start the installation process. Now, as it mentions right below this dialog, it's only about two megabytes, so it's a very fast install process, and there's not a lot of work involved on our part. In fact, we can kind of just kick back, and it's going to do its thing right here as it loads the latest web platform products. And there we have it. So that is a live example of how fast it is to get it going, so it's very simple. From here you can see we're on the spotlight screen. So some of the more popular downloads are available. Now we're going to be downloading the Visual Web Developer Express 2010 SP1 and that's a free version of Visual Studio we can use to build ASP.NET web applications. But before we do that let me show you some of the other things available. So we have several open source projects. You can see here content management systems and others. But we can also go to products and download several different things here. Let me scroll down a little bit. And let's say you're doing uh, smooth streaming media and you want to work with IAS Media Services 4. Well, you can download that very easily directly right here. And there's many, many different tools that are available. We can work with Windows Azure, uh, which is the cloud service Microsoft provides. We can go to different servers that are available. Get things like IAS 7.5 Express. Go to databases and even get some of the tools such as Microsoft's new Web Matrix tool. Well, we're going to go back. I'm just going to go to Spotlight and we're going to do uh, the Web Developer Express. Now, if that didn't show up for some reason as you try this, feel free to go up to the search box here and we can actually just type Express and this will go out and filter all the different things that have that word in it and you can see we can get to Web Developer Express here as well. But all we have to do is once we find it, I can click the Add button. And that's it. From here we can hit Install. Now let me show you what's going to be done for us behind the scenes though. There's quite a bit. So I'm going to click on Items to be installed. 
Now, in order to run Visual Web Developer Express 2010 with Service Pack 1, there are several dependencies we have, including the tool, but we also need to install the .NET Framework. If we're going to work with databases locally, we can work with SQL Server Express 2008 R2, and you'll see several others down here. Even the latest version of a file-based database is going to be installed for us, which is the new SQL Server Compact 4 makes it really easy to work locally with databases. So a lot of great stuff. You can see the total download size and everything is there. Now from here, all we need to do is hit install. It's a piece of cake. We're going to have to accept the agreement. And it's going to take us to a screen to configure our SQL Server Express database. Now, it takes us to mixed mode authentication. If you want to do a SQL Server password, you can enter that here. I'm going to go ahead and do Windows Integrated Authentication to just use my Windows credentials to ultimately log in once it installs this. Now from here it's going to go ahead and download all those dependencies that you saw and so this will take a little bit and once those are downloaded it'll install them. So I'm going to go ahead and let it finish that and then we'll come back and we will then jump into the tools that it installed. Once the Microsoft Web Platform Installer finishes the installation process, you'll see that Visual Web Developer Express is now showing as installed. Now from here, we can certainly install some of the other frameworks that are available. But at this point, if your goal is to develop ASP.NET Web Forms apps, you're ready to go. So we can run off to Start Programs. And from here, we can get to our Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Express. So we'll go ahead and open that. Now in the next section of this module, I'm going to show you some different features that Visual Web Developer provides you and explain how you can use it to build your ASP.NET web applications.